Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to read you a short story this morning and it's called The Sleepover and it has got a little moral to it and I wonder if as I'm reading it you can think what that might be and before I tell you at the end have a little discussion and see if any of you have worked out what you think I might be trying to get at with this story. It's only a short one so listen. It was Friday night at Jade's house this was Jade's favourite night of the week because it meant she got to watch a movie with her mum. Jade started to feel excited when her mum put popcorn into the microwave. She could hardly wait as she got the ice cream from the freezer. After they had all of the snacks ready, Jade and her mum sat on the couch. They put on one of Jade's favourite movies and started eating while they watched. Jade got to stay up late, which was one of her favourite parts about Fridays. I used to do that as well. Jade and her mum clapped at the end of the movie. Then Jade's mum tucked her in and read her a story before bed. It was Jade's perfect night. The next morning, Jade was still excited. She had a sleepover that night at her friend Tia's house. She'd never been to a sleepover before and she was a bit scared, but mostly excited. So excited, in fact, that she could hardly do anything but jump up and down all day. Jade started to get a little scared again as her mum helped her pack for the sleepover. Her mum told her not to be afraid because it was fun to get to see what a friend's house was like. When Jade saw Tia's mum arrive in her car, she wasn't afraid anymore. Saying goodbye to her mum, she ran out the door to give Tia a hug. They got in the car and Tia's mum drove them to Tia's house. All the way there, Tia and Jade talked about what they were going to do that night. I hope you like lasagna, Jade, Tia's mum said. Mr James is a good cook and he's making some. Jade started to feel hungry. I don't think I've ever had lasagna before. Her mum mostly made chicken or frozen dinners, which were always good. When they got inside the house, Tia's little brother and sister ran to the door to say hello. Jade laughed as Tia's sister Maya held onto her leg and wouldn't let go. As they walked into the house, Jade smelled something amazing. Mm. Hi, Jade, Mr. James, Tia's dad said. He was in the kitchen getting some plates. I hope you're hungry. I am, exclaimed Jade. Tia showed her to a room which was painted pink and filled with sparkly things. Wow, Jade said. I wish my room was this big. Jade set her sleepover bag down and followed Tia to the dining room. Tia's whole family sat at the table to eat. Lasagna was the best thing Jade had ever tasted. She ate it so quickly that Tia laughed. Her brother Mason tried to eat just as quickly as Jade and made a right mess. Dinner was so delicious and fun that Jade was smiling the whole time. After dinner, Jade went back up to Tia's room where they made bracelets, braided each other's hair and painted on some things that Tia's mum called canvases. Later on, Tia's parents brought them hot brownies and ice cream. Mm, it was the best night ever. Sounds nice. After wolfing down their dessert, Tia and Jade talked for a long time. Finally, Tia fell asleep. Jay took a little longer getting to bed. She kept thinking about how much fun she'd had at Tia's house. Then she remembered that she had to go back home the next day. At home, there was only mum. Jade loved her mum, but Tia had a mum, a dad and siblings. Her dad cooked and their house had a lot of space to play in. Jade didn't have that in her apartment. Suddenly, Jade wished very much that she could live with Tia. The next morning, Jade cheered up as Mr. James prepared pancakes and bacon ready for breakfast. Then, Tia and Jade played with Mason and Maya in the living room. When the doorbell rang, Jade felt like it was the end of the world. She knew it was time to go home and she felt tears in her eyes. She didn't want to go back now. She wanted to stay with Tia. Jade didn't want to cry in front of everyone, so she hid her tears and pretended she didn't hear the doorbell. Instead, she kept playing with Tia. Hi, honey, Jade's mum said as she walked up behind her. Did you have a good time? Jade nodded, not looking up at her mum. It's time for us to go, sweetie. Tia's family has things to do today. Jade stopped and turned to look up at her mum. Can't I stay at least for a little bit longer? Her mum smiled sadly. I'm sorry, honey. Maybe Tia's parents will let you come over another time. Of course we will, said Tia's mum. Tomorrow, asked Jade excitedly. Everyone laughed, but... Jade was serious. Jade got in the car with her mum and stared out of the window on the way home. Her mum tried to ask her questions about the sleepover, but Jade only gave short answers. What's wrong, honey, her mum said when they got home. 
Are you sad about leaving tears? Jade nodded. Her room's a lot bigger than mine and she has a big family, a big house and good food. Her mum smiled. It's called envy when you want someone else's things. But do you know what? I was feeling envious too when I came to pick you up from Tia's house. Jade's eyes widened. Really? Yes. It's easy to want what somebody else has. But remember, Jade, that we have a lot of special things too. Hmm, like our movie nights. Yes. Can you think of anything else? Jade thought. My bed and your special chicken dish and the cat that comes to the window every morning. Her mum laughed. Those are all very good things to be thankful for. You don't need somebody else's things to be happy, Jade. Everything you need is right here. Jade smiled. If she was at Tia's house all the time, she'd miss so many things from her own home. I am thankful, mum. And most of all, I'm thankful for you. She hugged her mum tightly. And just then, she didn't miss Tia's house anymore. She had everything she needed right there. Okay. Just have a little discussion and see if you can work out what the moral of that story was. Kind of told you at the end, really, I think. Okay, I'm sure some of you have put your hands up and got that straight away. Jade was very envious of everything that her friend Tia had, and she forgot all about the great things that she had herself. Your family, your room, your stuff, the way you look might be different from what other people have. That's okay. Never let being jealous or envious make you forget to be thankful for all the precious things that you already have. And sometimes, you know, I think I've said this before, it's sometimes it's something really small, like I can walk out into my garden and see a daffodil, just beautiful daffodil swaying in the breeze and I think how lucky to be able to do that to walk out and see something so beautiful yeah sometimes when I go to the zoo and I see a zebra or a tiger and I look at all the amazing stripes that they have and how you know how each one is slightly different but they've all got stripes and they're all beautiful ladybirds with tiny dots we live in a beautiful world okay not everybody has the you know not everybody lives in the same part of the world and we are very very lucky we should be so thankful for all the things we have yes some people might have bigger houses yes some people might have more expensive trainers some people might have more money and you know lots of things that we feel envious about but that's not what's important what's important is what you do have and whoever you live with whether it's your mum or your dad or your mum and dad, or your stepmom and stepdad, or your aunties and uncles and grands and granddads, uh, your carer, whoever you live with, be thankful. Be thankful for that, okay? Because we are very, very lucky, each one of us. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you, everyone.